I'm Chris Hartman, reporting for The Buzz. Vaping. There hasn't been a trend that has swept through the high schools of America quite like vaping in the 21st century. The epidemic has serious ramifications and health risks that need to be addressed. I think what scares me most about teens vaping in school is uh, the health risks that are related. I think that they don't realize just how dangerous it can be. Uh, my professional opinion about vaping is that we do not have a lot of information on the long-term health implications. Not only can vaping damage your health, it can also get you in trouble at school. If they bring a vape-related product, um, whether it's a pod, a jewel, um, any kind of e-cigarette, um, it's basically all falls under the same category. There's a two-day out-of-school suspension, and there's what we call a smokeless Saturday that the student has to attend. When I went to the local vape shop, I sat down with Tyler Youngkins and talked about teen vaping and his business. The objective of these vapes um, again why I got into the industry was to get people to transition from either tobacco cigarettes or cigars or chewing and to use one of these products to to get nicotine safely and, and in a healthier manner and then eventually to quit smoking quit nicotine altogether. One particular company in the industry would be Juul just because the ease of getting into the hands of anybody. I think if I found out my child was vaping my first reaction would be shock. It's a conversation that we've had many times uh, at, at my house and she knows the expectations. I have six nieces and nephews and watching them grow up and, and then seeing them or them seeing me use my vaporizer, I've been very careful to explain to them that it was a tool to help me to quit smoking. On December 20th, 2019, President Trump signed an executive order raising the minimum age of all nicotine and tobacco products to 21 years of age. But will this slow down the number of vape users? Only time will tell. Students that do vape, I believe that they are treating their bodies terribly and vaping is a terrible thing. Nobody knows long-term effects of them. Teen vaping can cause uh, many more teens to vape. But even with all the uncertainty and deaths that are happening with vaping, people are still doing it. When I talked to an actual vape user in our school, he had this to say about why he vapes. My friend let me hit his vape and I just kind of have been using them since. Uh, usually when I buy it, I just text someone and meet with them. I'm standing here with Junior Paige Semenko. Paige, how do you feel about teens who vape? I'm not entirely sure why people and teens decide to vape. I'm not sure if it's because of peer pressure, but I'm sure that they don't truly really understand the health risk and consequences to vaping. Vaping is a toxic, addictive teenage nightmare, and it's augmenting the minds of young Americans like a bad dream. We need to find a cause and eventually a solution to this epidemic before it becomes even worse. What are you going to do about it? I'm Chris Hartman, reporting for The Buzz.